peace be to you. The gospel today invites us to reflect on the certain controversies went around the power of Jesus' kingdom. When Jesus cast out the demons from a dumb person, the opponents of Jesus Christ, the Pharisees, accused him that he was casting out the demons with the help of Beisabul, the Lord of Heaven. Jesus at once did not give his immediate answer. Also, some of the people, they thought to himself, themselves, that he was casting out the demons with the visible and wanted to have higher order of signs. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, St. Luke specifically mentions the foreknowledge of Jesus Christ. Our Lord is working with the finger of God. That was the God in the Old Testament was rescuing people from the slavery of sins and problems and this is continued in Christ Jesus. The redeeming power starting from the whole testament, the redeeming work by started by God the Father is continued here with Jesus Christ. So, the work was through the finger of God. And the final words say, He who was not with him was against him. This was the word when the disciple were in a hostile situation, Luke's community was comforted by the very presence of Jesus Christ. The God's presence was with the people, with the disciples who were happened to be in the hostile situation. And they were exhorted to take care of and feel the presence of God that he protects them from all kinds of evil in their journey, also exhorted to follow him on their way. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the redeeming power of Christ works even today. In our daily lives, in our thinking, in our ministry, in our personal life too, the redeeming power of Christ continues. The work that was started by, the God, by God the Father in the Old Testament, redeeming them from the slavery, is still continued by the power of Christ Jesus. His presence continues to be with us in all our problems, in all our challenges, especially in our temptations, in our fighting with the evil. So let us earnestly pray that God's presence may be with us. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Be with us, Lord, strengthen us so that we may be your children. All the time we are tempted and fighting with the problems, Lord. We are prone to live along the world, thinking of the world, Lord. Strengthen us, heal us, 
so that they may be your children being strengthened on our way by your very presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.